we are uh, out here in Hartzell, just kind of out here in the middle of nowhere, but there's, there's a little bit of people out here, it's kind of crazy, it's kind of crazy in my opinion. Got a pad we need to dig in and a driveway we need to get cut in. So, we got our driveway flagged down by my truck, right where their uh, address pole is, all the way up through these trees. Through these nice big thick ones right here, they all gotta go. All the way through there, right up to where the machine is. Awesome, well, time to get to it. There she is guys, the new machine. Oh yeah. Hey, hey, we are in the new machine, the 135. With the blade and the thumb, we got a 36 inch bucket on. And I wanna show you why I got the blade. You can see here, I'm sitting up. Let me show you the angle we're at. I don't know if you can tell how steep I am. But I crawled up here, put the blade up, level myself out a little bit. Uh, I still gotta be careful side to side, but um, there's no way I could do what I'm doing now without the blade. I have to constantly make myself a bench, which is fine, but this is a lot quicker and easier, and I can dig level much easier. And I'm on a pretty steep hill here. You guys know how I feel about uh, heights. But anyway, we'll get this done. So I'm getting all the topsoil kind of cut off of this slope, and then I'm going to bench in some uh, probably what 20 foot maybe 18 foot wide benches and um, kind of pack that in and then we'll we'll get it ready for the parking uh, parking spot here for the RV so let's do some digging That's where we finished for today. Did this in uh, four hours. So needless to say, I'm loving this new big machine and the big bucket. Um, so we're 40 feet from there to there, to the base of that. So I need to go back another 10 feet. So I'm just gonna chip some off of that, move it over here. Then I'm gonna go up top and uh, try to make a nice smooth surface and get another 10 feet or so out of that. And then we'll cut in this road. It's the uphill side of the road, the uh, downhill side, and it'll go right through the bucket there. So I gotta take out some of those trees. The customer wants them up here. But uh, I think we're gonna be moving pretty fast. We get all this hogged out, moved out, and then bring in a uh, skid steer dump truck with uh, classics road base and uh, get her done. We've already got our pad dug out here. A little footage of that. We'll go down through here. See our flags. Get the cut all the way down to there. Might actually take out a couple more trees because I do need to create a, a swell on the uphill side keep the, the water from washing away the road especially being on a nice steep hill like this we're also going to try and build a berm up there i think that's what we'll start with this morning <laughs>
All right, we got quite a bit done here. Look at all the topsoil we, we have removed. I actually went out of town for a couple of weeks and uh, the guys continued working on this job. But you can see how deep the topsoil was. Still is, I mean, that's, that's substantial. That's four feet right here. So it looks like they, they pulled out some of the good dirt, put a couple of feet of that on top. We just can't keep digging down. That would, uh, that would not be necessary for a residential driveway, but looks like we've got most of it out. We've got a swale built on this top side. So any water that comes down will drain out and down into the ditch, do a culvert to the left. I think they're doing a culvert on this one. Can't recall if the county wanted that. I have to check the plans again. Look how deep we had to come down. It's wild. So the next thing we're doing here is bringing in the skid steer so we can bring in our um, road base and cover all this in road base, cover the road in road base. Oh boy, this is nice. So this is an RV pad, but we wanted to make sure and do it right so that when they uh, want to come in here and build their house, they already have a pad and they already have all this dug out. I like it. I like it. We'll get out here uh, tomorrow or Wednesday and keep finishing this up. All right, guys, we have uh, put our road base down, compacted that in. See how nice and big and wide this is. Big cut up on the high side, so anything coming off the mountain here uh, will flow down in this swale and come on down. The uh, county did not require a culvert here. So we did not put a culvert in for the county and the customer. This topsoil was, geez, it was huge. It was like, I don't know, 10 feet at least above that. So I came in here with the 135 excavator and just kind of feathered it in with the rest of the land here. Got the drainage going away from the driveway. So anything that falls will run down and, uh, and out. So this is a 50 by 50 parking pad. It looks like the customer was here maybe this past weekend. We got him a fire pit going. And it looks like they were able to make a full circle with their RV, with their camper. So this is looking good, packed real hard. You can see how hard that is. It's packed in there just like concrete. That's pretty sweet. Put a swale up on the top of it so anything coming down will catch that swale and run down into this swale and run out. So you can see the view from the top here. Really is a beautiful sight. You got your rock outcroppings all over the place. It's really nice. So then we feathered this down. Put all the wood pile over in here that can just kind of rot or they can use it however they want. But anyway, I'm very excited about how this job turned out. It, it was definitely more work uh, than we anticipated because of the amount of topsoil that was here. You can see how far we had to come down to get through that topsoil, especially over here. And then because of that, this had to be extended and brought up substantially. Hopefully you guys can see the difference in the original grade and where we're at here. So uh, good thing we got that bigger machine. It allowed us to work much faster, which was the, that was the intent. So um, anyway, very happy with that machine. More to come on that. But for now, we'll call this job done. Customers happy. The county's happy. We'll catch you guys uh, on the next video. Bye.